Let's open a Django project from version control, in this case, GitHub. If I click Get from version control and choose GitHub, I get a searchable list of repositories that I participate in, although I can also paste in a URL. I select the repo, choose a directory location, and click Clone. After confirming the checkout, a new project opens. If you're starting a new project, see the link above for a video showing how to use PyCharm Professional Edition to create a new Django project. Let's get this project set up for Django. We'll make a virtual environment as the project interpreter using a base Python on my system. The new project now has a Python, so we install some dependencies from the requirements.txt that the project provided. With the environment set, we can ensure PyCharm's preferences know it is a Django project. The project setting for Python template language is set to use Django templates, but we could switch to Jinja too. One more setup step, migrations. We open PyCharm's integrated manage.py tool. This gives us autocomplete to do the migration. Once the migrations run, our project directory will have a SQLite file. We can also use this manage.py window to create an admin user with the manage.py task of create super user. The enable Django support created a run configuration for Django server. This Django run configuration type has useful fields for controlling the server. We run the Django server in the dedicated tool window. As it starts, we get a clickable URL for the configured server, which opens our configured browser in a new window. Going to the admin URL lets us log in and add a question to our poll application. All is now working and we can start the development of adding a description field to our questions. Before we do though, we run the test that came with the project. Right click on the test file to run it. PyCharm Professional Edition detects that it's a Django test and runs in our visual test runner. Just to get in a good development mode, we strip down the IDE, turning off unused features to get a leaner developer experience. We're now ready to work with the Django models.